chapter 82, we want to find a function that most closely matches this graph. Now, what you should recognize from this function is that it looks like an exponential function. But remember that your standard exponential function goes in the opposite direction. So that means that this must be reflected horizontally. Also, our normal point on our exponential graphs is 0, 1. Our point now is negative 2, 2, so in, or, in addition to the graph being reflected, it's been shifted to the left, and it's been shifted up. So it's been shifted to the left 2 and up 1. So we have three different things that are going on here. It's reflected across the y-axis, it's shifted to the left 2, and it's shifted up 1. So we need to do all of those things. So if we start with our standard e to the x function, remember that if you have any sort of reflection across the y-axis and a shift, that you have to factor out that negative sign. So we have the x term being negative because that's what a horizontal reflection does. Remember that if we had a vertical reflection, we would put the negative outside the entire function. So we have to make just the x part negative, but it's shifted to the left 2. So we have to put x plus 2 in parentheses. So that's the important part here. Many students will put just minus x plus 2, which is not correct. Finally, we have a shift, a vertical shift of 1 up. So we just tack on a plus 1 at the end. That gives us a vertical shift. So your answers, though, are written with that expanded out. So we just need to distribute that negative sign, and we get e to the minus x minus 2 plus 1, which gives us answer choice uh, 